Hey guys and welcome to day 60 of making videos. I'm joined today by my older sister Constance. I'm going to ask her a few questions about what things are like down in Chicago. Hi, did you say older sister? I did, I was kind of joking, kind of not. Playing to my ego. Yeah. How's the sound quality from me on your end? It's great, yeah. I'm just using my headset here and I'm basically just recording over a live feed of the coronavirus. So, firstly, um, tell me what's been happening with you and your job with this quarantine idea. Oh dear. The thing about it is, can I even tell you? What do you mean? Because, well, because I work for the government. You can at least tell me... What's going you've on personally? My name, you've given my name out now, and that's it. Like, there's no real option. Um, my job, yeah, basically, I'm off work for like thirty days, and then potentially it's going to be the order. The judge has signed an order closing everything down. So potentially, it could be sixty days because he thinks he'll just um, re-enter the order at the end of thirty days if things aren't better. So it could be sixty days, could be ninety days, could be a while. Which is going to be fun for absolutely no one, but it's quite impressive actually that they managed to do it because the state attorney's office and everybody involved in it, all of the defendants, all of the sheriffs, all of the public defenders, the probation, the pre-trial, us state's attorneys, everyone who pulls together, we're talking like this is an operation of like fifteen, twenty thousand people. So to shut this down is like quite impressive watching it all happen, all the different chiefs meeting, all of the different people, and of course us low-level people on the ground having absolutely no idea what's going on. When did you find out about it? Um, well, I found out about it because my boss was out. My boss's boss was out of the office, and they called the, the our unit line, and it was like my boss's boss's boss, who was like, can I speak to them? And I was like, no, they're not here. So then they asked me, okay, what do you what do these three admins need to do if we're going to close down your um, your court room? Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm on the phone talking to her about this. My partner, Leslie, is sitting beside me and she can hear from what I'm saying that we're clearly headed to a shutdown. So this was Friday. And so me and her are like, I'm trying to maintain sort of like talking to Emily like I'm, you know, a grown up person. And I'm not. I'm, like, really happy about it. You know, me and, me and Leslie are like, we're going to be free. Um, and then she hung up and me and Leslie were like, we're going to be free. And then there's a, room, a woman who sits in the room with us who's not part of our unit. She's part of what's called bond court, which is where when you get arrested for a felony, it, constitutionally you have to be bonded out the next day. You have to, you know, there has to be a hearing, a bond hearing on whether or not they can lock you up. And she's, like, the supervisor of bond court. She's one of these people who, you know likes to be important and in charge and she was like no girls it's not closing but me and leslie knew and then we got the email sunday well, that's fantastic so what sort of changes down in illinois have been made so far just to give you an example of what i'm looking for as an answer here in michigan we're now banned from meeting in groups of above 50 people all restaurants and bars that have dine in areas and sit down areas have had to close those um and the news as of an hour and 40 minutes ago is that Amazon is suspending all deliveries that aren't medical supplies or household essentials. What's going on down in Illinois? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Amazon what? Amazon is no longer shipping anything that isn't a medical supply or household essential. Is that just essential. Michigan or is that everywhere? I'm not sure. I just, I saw a tweet about it at lunchtime, about 11 o'clock my time. And now at 2 o'clock I've seen one article. That does no, not make me pleased. No, I... I, I so I was one... one thing you can rely on, it's Amazon. Yeah, but I mean, if they're going to have to start sending people home from these production plants they have in their, their depots. Oh, right. Well, I, I should probably get myself to the store and buy some things. Um, I, I actually... have any food in. No, I haven't talked about this on my YouTube channel yet, but I got a call, or I should say a text message from a guy who... He deals in insider trading, but he had a text message from a guy high up in the U.S. government, and he knew this whole virus was going serious before the general public did. 
per se. And um, yeah, he texted me about midnight. Uh, it's actually 11 p.m. on Thursday night last week. This is when everything was still fully supplied. And based on his text message and his warning from his inside man, um, I went to Walmart that night with Kerry because we were going to we were going to go to Crete, obviously. And now that's been cancelled too, but you know that we had been eating basically eating ourselves out of our home. You know, eating, getting rid of everything we've stocked up. Mm-hmm. We were at the point where we have like maybe like four or five meals left in the house. You know, and we were going to continue, continue to buy a bit of fresh vegetables and stuff, but like nothing serious. And I realized that, hang on, if this text message is correct and there's going to be a run on the stores in the next couple of days, you know, we'll actually be up Shit's Creek. Um, if one intended, that's a fantastic TV show. Um, yeah, so I went to Walmart that night and spent about 100 euros, 100 dollars, and bought enough food to last us probably f- till the end of the year if we had to eat rationed it properly or a little sooner if we don't. But well, I guess I'm coming to stay with you guys then. Up to you. There's a room here if you'd like it. And an office and a bedroom and, yeah, everything you could want here. Oh, boy. Yeah, I, I need to stock up. I haven't I haven't stocked up yet, so that's, that's fun. I don't know how no much one. stuff's still left in the shops down there. I don't know if you've no, been... No, stocking the shops. Definitely. Yeah. But There's... it is looking bare. I was in Target last night. And, yeah, the only thing left on the shelves was salad. Yeah, the real perishables are the last things to go because they're pretty unuseful, pretty mm-hmm. useless, rather. Yeah, not a lot of frozen foods left, but I found myself at the very bottom of the freezer one of those um, uh, bags of, you know, like cheesy chicken stir-fry. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to go to Aldi today, I think, try to stock up on whatever's left. Um, but yeah, no, it's crazy here. What are you doing with your time? Um, they're going to give us appellate briefs to write. Yeah, that makes sense. Because if they're paying you, they might as well have you do something. Right. And they were quite, like, snippy about it. Basically, the line that came out was, if anyone doesn't want to do the briefs, they're welcome to take 30 days paid vacation. Really? As in, like, use your vacation time. No. Oh. Well, no, we that's, like, that's no. no fun. Like, no. That's so I've had to cancel my plans of going back to Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico? Why Puerto mm. Rico? I didn't know well, you I went to Puerto Rico a week ago, and I decided that I enjoy sun. Why did you go to Puerto Rico? Tina's, uh, Tina's bachelorette party. Oh, very nice. Mm-hmm. I didn't know. Yeah, well, I was also there to pick up the coronavirus, because I'm one of the government's scheduled carriers. Very nice. Mm. Um, we'll never know if that's pay... a joke. Yeah, how much do they pay you for that? Yeah, exactly. We won't. <laughs> Let's just say my car's now paid off. Um, Your Tesla's paid off already. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. And it hasn't even arrived yet. <laughs> no. I think things here are okay. Everyone just seems normal. Or the big difference is it's all anyone ever talks about. So like... they have closed down the um, the courthouse, but they still have the very essential stuff going. So the bond hearings are still going because you can't keep someone in custody. But they've scaled down the amount of arrests that they're doing and they're not putting anyone into custody if they didn't, you know, show up or there's a warrant issued so you don't take them in and lock them down. Um, we're worried, of course, about the jail because we already have places, people in quarantine in the jail. Um which is not great. Um, there's a line coming out saying from Pritzker that um, groups of more than 10 people are being banned. So that's interesting. But let me tell you this. I went out on St. Paddy's Day, mm-hmm. and let me say that there did not appear to be much social distancing going on. In fact, after St. Paddy's Day, the government here was so horrified by how people acted on St. Paddy's Day. That's when they closed the bars. Really? Mm-hmm. I was horrified, bro. Yeah, it, it did seem to me to be that people really were ignoring the the the, the advice the government were giving. And in fact, like I think they sent people, kid, kids home from school, which resulted in one of the largest parties landing has ever seen, I heard, at Michigan State. <laughs> I think three full streets were closed. 
do to a party. Yeah, just a mega party. But the party mm-hmm. was on like across two streets in the Michigan State whatever, campus area. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's like how St. Paddy's Day was because everybody's like, I don't have to go to work. Yeah. And like, so they can recover all day Sunday and then just go again Monday. What do you no, think? He's... Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was going to say, what do you think? Like, how long do you think this is going to last from your end? Well, we just hit, like, what, 76 cases in Cook County now? So, uh, you can't contain that. We're all going to get it. Yeah, I, I, w- I would absolutely agree with you. The hospital is ramping up s- supplies and preparedness. All physicians and managers' leave has been cancelled as of right now. See, I was thinking if they don't end up giving us briefs that, like, people like me should be volunteering. Probably. I don't know where. Like, would there be? Do you think that's going to be a step, maybe a month from now? From- if it, this thing depends, if this thing, it, it depends if this thing becomes a long or larger scale issue. We just don't know. There's so much unknown right now. We're we're slowing things down to the point where we're hoping we know we don't overwhelm the hospitals and the ICUs and the ventilators. But that may have the knock on effect of this thing lasting nine months. That's a real possibility. We're in March right now. There's a real possibility this thing's still going in the fall. I do think, though, I know I'm not a medical expert of any sort. I've taken a couple of classes of chemistry, so I do think that I'm a bit of an expert, though. I do think that the warmer weather will put paid to it. But that comes with the sort of question of whether or not in the fall it's going to pick back up with a fury. Yeah, and by then this virus could have mutated back around to the point where it's a different virus again. The coating on the outside of it is different. Right, so the vaccine that they'll have developed in that time won't work. I agree. I don't know. It's very interesting to me how, um, how frank can I be on this? Pretty frank. Uh, well, uh, can I talk about our parents? No. Oh. I thought you meant work-wise. Yeah, work-wise I can. Um, I don't know, well, work-wise I can't, because of course I... Um, well, I, wouldn't ask, I, wouldn't ask you, I wouldn't ask you about individual cases, but you meant from your office perspective. Well, of course, like, what am I? 27 years old, I've been a Cook County State's Attorney for, what, six months? I'm not, you know, I'm not a unit chief. It's quite difficult for me to tell you what my work's for perspective is when you know literally to get the information and getting in and getting it by absolute sheer luck uh by listening at doors by talking to sheriffs who listen at doors so me and leslie you know we we kind of bounce around the courthouse we have lots of different friends in little places and we stop by the pair of us and we'll be like what's going on what have you heard and we put pieces together it really isn't a very full picture of what people are expecting to go Mm -hmm. to happen There's a lot of people, uh, just in our family, for instance, who are really upset the government is doing this, this drastic measures this early. Um, mm-hmm. And there's some, because obviously the Boris in the UK isn't, hasn't yet taken some of these steps. Schools aren't all cancelled. Gyms aren't closed. I, I'm really surprised. I think America's going to be very, very different in the next six months, next six years, just because of this one pandemic. I just, I just don't know what's going to happen. I didn't, a week ago, Constance, it was Tuesday, I was at work, and I had Wednesday off and came back to work Thursday, and it was like I'd left and gone to a different country, the difference in the hospital. Mm-hmm. And then I had Thursday off, because, I was sorry, I had Wednesday off, and work Thursday, then I had Friday off, and went back to work Saturday. And again, it was like, again, the fear factor to be multiplied a thousand, the hospital, like right now, is the feel like it's the calm before the storm. And I don't know what to what to think. Should That's I be stocking? Thinking, should I be stocking up food for six months? I don't know what, how to prepare, or how to best use my time. Well, Italy never closed the grocery stores, right? 
correct. There was never there was out of stock of most stuff. Just because they keep restocking doesn't mean you can keep getting access to good food. That's a good point. Um, but they didn't close their grocery stores, and I don't think people are going to close their grocery stores or the gas stations or things like that. I don't think that's going to be the issue. I, I don't, I just don't know. I know that we're 16 days behind China. That's what medical experts are saying, right? Mm -hmm. Which doesn't make any sense to me. Because, you know, I feel like China peaked at least a month ago. Yeah, but the Chinese aren't telling us what's going on in China right now. They say, they say there's like 11 new cases today. It could be 11,000 new cases today. Or it could be 11 million new cases today. You c No one here trusts what the Chinese doctors have to say on this matter. Well, you better hide your, your uh, house location after saying that on the internet. I wonder what they're going to do, kill me? Probably. No, but realistically, no one, just, no one trusts the Chinese. Nobody. There's no independent Western experts on the ground there. No one trusts them to tell the truth. They've got multiple reasons to not tell the truth and meant no reason to tell the truth. Okay, so how many days are we behind Italy? I don't know. They never did anything till the hospitals were already overrun. So, you know, I don't, I don't know. That's the thing. Nobody knows. Italy seemed to get a really virulent virus. The mortality rate amongst older people was about seven percent. And yet, we don't see that here. I mean, there's 76 cases in Cook County right now. And, like, none of them are serious. Tom Hanks isn't serious. No. Idris Elba isn't serious. No, I know. Rita Wilson isn't serious. So many people that you'd think, okay, it's just not serious. I don't know. Like, as I said to you guys earlier, I've been on four planes in the last week. And I come into contact with thousands of defendants over my weeks at work. Like, I'll never know if I have it. Unless I get like a particularly like bad strain of it. I don't know. I mean, we're one of these things where I'd love to see you make a prediction or two and see where you where we are in a month's time. You want me to make a prediction? What do you th What do you think? What are some things you think? What What do you think could happen? I don't think people are going to quarantine correctly. That's the issue, right? Okay. I think that no matter what you do, people are going to leave the house. They're going to go hang out with friends. They're going to have game nights. They're going to do stuff. And it's going to spread. I think that the one way in which people might be good is, I know all the young people that I know, they're not worried about spreading it to people. About, they're not worried about spreading it to their Uber driver. They're not worried about spreading it to their friends. They don't take it home, though. Like people don't want to see their parents or grandparents suffer from this. So maybe that will stop it. Maybe that will mean that tons of young people will have a cough and a sniff, you know, and that will be the extent of that, and their body will gain natural immunity to it, so it will slow it down. I don't think, for some reason, I don't think this is going to be as bad as people think. Okay. I think, I think I'll be back at work in six weeks. Six um, weeks is I, a long time. No, it's not. It is from the economy's perspective. Our it's economy makes a certain amount of GDP a year based on everyone who works working. There are so many people who won't be putting any money towards the US economy for six weeks. That's a lot of money that the USA is down. No, this well, really I mean, wants me obviously, to... we're, we're going to hit a massive recession because of this. Yeah. But this, I mean, is the the reason I took a, this is the reason I took a government job in the first place. Not a bad, not a bad call. That that will definitely make you look like a real wise, wise person if that's the case, Constance. <laughs> You'll look no, like you look like a genius. It, All your classmates out of work and you're there, still plugging along. And I'll be like, listen, guys, and you thought that I had a low GPA, but actually, it turns out I was just with an eye to the future. No. They are. They're gonna dump these law firms. They're gonna start dumping people. A hundred percent. all going to be my classmates yeah. 
Well, thanks for sharing a few minutes of your time with me, Constance. Well, I wasn't doing anything anyway. Okay. Well, nice to Stop hear from you. Stop using my name. We don't want people to know where I work or Constance, who I am. Constance, thank you for joining.